Hello and welcome to Cracking the Cryptic and today I'm having a look at my solve of today's Times crossword. Um, is it Friday morning, the last one of the year and this crossword didn't go very well for me. I don't really know why not. I couldn't get any of these clues to start with. Feel free to have a look at them as we go through them and if you spot the answer to any of them, well done. Um, I really was not getting much done. As I say, I don't know why. It was quite a good time of the day, early morning for me. Nobody else around in the house, so uh, I shouldn't really have felt under pressure. Five down, old invader's unfinished project. Now, I put in Hun here on the basis that a Hun is an old invader. And there was, pr I was thinking project might be to hang over. Maybe there was some hung without the last letter. I couldn't really see why it was that. And I was really very prepared to change hung if necessary. Um, but, and in the end I had to because it was rubbish. But um, I couldn't see what else was going on in the clue at the time. So I went with it. I think colic was just a hidden which got me going. Dud shade, 10 across, clearly a double definition. I think in sometimes I'd be able to get that immediately, but um, this time I was really... I think once you get on a roll with a, not solving a few clues, it, it does undermine your confidence for the next ones. And uh, it's only when um, I start getting some letters in the grid and a little bit of confidence from solving some of the clues that I can then progress. Exposed snakes showed signs of distress. I remember looking at that clue early on, not really thinking very seriously about what any of the bits meant. Probably looked for a definition, couldn't really see an obvious one for a nine letter word, just gave up. So eight down, this did get me going. Newton say, engrossed in study, finally forgave dissident. Well, finally forgave looked like the letter E at the end, and dissident looked like the definition. So I thought of renegade, and then I could see how Newton is abbreviated to the letter N. That's not an abbreviation you often see in the Times crossword. Say was E.G., study was read, so that worked. So that enabled me to get that double definition of lemon. Thatching at 12 across was architect ultimately, that's the letter T, and devising is hatching, with a natural alternative to tiles being a quite long definition. Seven down, gross politician one visiting boozer puts MP and I into lush, is the boozer. Quite neat misdirection there. And now five across, I knew that first letter could well be wrong, so I was able to come up with jocular. I've now corrected five down to jut, because it's the old invader, a jute, who's unfinished, not the project, which is the definition, in fact. So, 14 across, and maybe I should have gone here earlier to the long answers, just an anagram of 100 euros in. Quite a neat clue, not getting enough 100 euros in change. And 13 down was kind of very straightforward. Um, Proust's characters might, have, might be under this, which is an acute accent. It's quite a neat definition there because Proust wrote in French, so the characters might have an acute accent. 17 across, band athlete sadly submits the worse for wear. Now, I'm not sure I knew the answer there. Certainly what the second preposition in it was. Um, and it took quite a few... Um, checking letters and some serious parsing of the wordplay to work out what's going on. I've now had another go back in the northwest corner which has defeated me at first and it defeats me again. So I'm not sure, maybe this puzzle is a particularly hard one, but um, it certainly took me nine and a half minutes and I think that would put it in the top 10% of my times and not in a good way. I mean the, the top 10% of most difficult to me puzzles. Even here, gallant vicar with child briefly out of hand. Well, I could see that it would be good to make an anagram of vicar and most of child. Um, I think I'm lucky that I thought there was a word chivalric, which turns out to be correct. Now, there's obviously chivalrous is the normal adjective from chivalry. 
16 down was an anagram, 26 across large mammal is L otter, and last of prey is Y. It's fairly straightforward, and so maybe I should have moved into this part of the puzzle a bit earlier. Um, 18 down was okay if one accepts that tritist is definitely the uh, superlative of trite. And um, 24 across and 22 down were fairly straightforward too. 25 down, fairly simple double definition. I think maybe there's some extent to which I was starting with the wrong part of the puzzle and uh, that was holding me back. Return of stone, edging even less healthy. So I could see that that's TS if you return ST, the abbreviation for stone. And then you can put illa in that to get tillers which is a genuine word, but you have to reverse that illa as well to get trellis, which is the plant support. Lucky at 20 down, I think, that I could get Hades with Y in and know that Hyades is a uh, constellation, I think, or a group of stars in some way. Um, Waster and Lusty were okay. Should have kind of got seeing red, because McCarthy can't be doing much in the clue apart from referring to Senator Jerry McCarthy and his uh, hunting out of reds um, in America. So eventually, now at 17 across, I work out that I need an something meaning band, an anagram of athlete, and then bows for submits. And the phrase that is the answer is out at the elbows, which means the worse for wear in the, in the sense of clothes, obviously. If something is out at the elbows it's kind of frayed at the elbows which is the first place that the top goes i suppose but i wasn't sure that i knew that that was a genuine phrase i do know sheet anchor thankfully so that was fairly straightforward but now i'm kind of stuck with this northwest corner the only help i've got from checking letters is two words ending ent presumably oh no e something t this one doesn't um it's still quite hard to get in um Exposed snakes showed signs of distress. Well, the definition there is exposed. Um, the way to get it, I think, is to think of a, a synonym for snakes that's not actually a type of snake, but in fact is snakes as the verb. And then the rest comes fairly straightforwardly. Look at that. I've cold solved a quite difficult mammal, ratel, which is rate and then L, the heading for lair. Um, and two down, clearly some sort of tongue that's a British measure. But what sort of field I would put T in? I, was, I wanted it to be half tongue, but that didn't quite work. And then I think as I think about moving on to another clue, I suddenly realised long on could be the fielder. And there must be a measure called a long tongue, which I wasn't aware of before this puzzle. Still one across, eluding me. The first clue I looked at, the last answer I write in... Um, not easy at all, and we'll see that when we come back to it. I think finally now I can see... No, we are, I, think, I think the next clue I get is... Oh, maybe three down. Three down. Spirited mum collects one on coming first. And that means that a synonym for on comes first, which is re. And then mum, a word meaning mum collects the letter I for one, and that word is silent, so the whole thing is resilient, um, meaning spirited. Wow, that's a tough, a tough definition for resilient. It's not the normal synonym you would come up with for resilient, spirited. And now I've worked out that wines wept gives you windswept. Still can't do one across. Liberal dons tolerate American state. And the way that that works in the end is L for liberal, dons, puts on a word for tolerate, which is bear, and then American is US, giving us Belarus in total, which is a state. I, I mean, I think that's a pretty tough crossword, but certainly my, uh, my speed and time was not that impressive. And um, it doesn't often take me nine and a half minutes to do a puzzle, um, and it was a bit annoying, but, a li well, nine minutes twenty. Um, you know, it's it's the time's not terrible, but where are we? I'm just trying to call up the puzzle again and pause it. What was hard there? Lots of it. Belarus was hard. 
I found wind swept hard uh, out at the elbows seeing red by word long tongue didn't know that word Resilient was definitely hard. Jut I struggled with, maybe through my own foolishness. Lumpish, I wouldn't have been sure that was a word. I was quite quick on Renegade and Hyades, but I don't think they were easy clues. It's a pretty tough puzzle. Most enjoyable, though. So uh, thanks very much to the setter. I hope you did a bit better than I did, at least in, in your own terms, and maybe even better than me in the, in the finishing score. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, hope to see you again on Cracking the Crypto. Thank mm -hmm. you.